Excel's groups are a great way to hide rows and columns on your worksheet. This will allow your colleagues to easily manipulate your workbook and further professionalize your document. So in this example, we have a number of different employee rosters, one for our Ohio facility, Michigan facility, Indiana, and Illinois. So we want to be able to easily hide certain columns and certain rows. For instance, there is a attendance column on the right-hand side of our table that we would rather remove and not show when we just want to see critical employee information. So what I can do is I can highlight these columns, go up to data, outline, group, group and then select columns and Excel will put up this handy little group option and I can click the minus sign to hide those columns and I can click the plus sign to show them. I can accomplish the same task for my rows. I can highlight these rows, go to data, outline, group, rows, and then simply hit this minus sign and I've hidden all of those rows. I can collapse or hide with the minus sign and then I can expand or show with the plus sign. So that's how to set it up with the ribbon. Let's say you want to use shortcuts. You can highlight your row and then shift alt right will make a group and you can select rows. If you wanna hide rows or columns, alt a h will let you hide them. If you really want to save yourself a lot of time, you can select a selection, shift space to select the whole row, shift alt right arrow, and that will create a group for you very, very quickly. So now we have is a really easy pop out menu where if you want to come in here and you want to look at just the employees for Indiana, you can click on that and see the relevant information. Chances are you probably don't care about the individual attendance, but if you want to, you can click on the pop out and you can see it or you can hide it. You can click on the collapse and you can scroll through any of these options. You can use these buttons on the left to easily expand and collapse your groups. If I press two, I've expanded all of my groups. If I press one, I've hidden all of my groups. You can also do that with your columns. Two to expand, one to collapse. Very, very helpful for doing many, many groups instead of trying to click through each one of these individually. You can also do that with shortcuts. If you highlight the selection, Alt A J, will expand all of the groups in your selection and you can see your whole sheet or alt a h will hide all of the groups in your selection very helpful shortcuts to understand so the key benefits to using groups or it's very obvious for someone else to see where rows or columns are hidden in your file it's very clear to me that i can click this button and I can pop out and I can see the granular employee detail that I'm interested in. It's very obvious that I can click on this plus sign and see that there's more columns hidden into this sheet than what I can initially see when I open it. If I were to remove this group, highlight these columns, Alt A U U will ungroup your columns. What I could do is I could simply make these columns column width zero. Alt H O W zero will hide your columns. This is not best practice and not what I would recommend to do because it's very unclear to anyone else that opens up this file that you're missing columns G through L here and they won't be able to easily figure out how to open this file up to see all the information they would need. In summation, groups are a great way to hide more granular information than you may need to display. It's a really professional and effective way to build a dynamic worksheet that allows the user to toggle just the information that they would need.